Hey, it's Sharon here from Quick Base Junkie coming to you from my home office. I wanted to share with you some videos directly out of my premium course called The Secrets of API Buttons for Quick Base. Now these videos are best practices and really they're best practices for almost any formula that you're using. So whether you use APIs or not, I thought it could be helpful. Welcome to Quick Base Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. But if you are interested in APIs, I do encourage you to check out my other videos here on YouTube um, where I've got lots of examples on how to use APIs in your QuickBase. And then to actually learn how to implement those APIs, you can check out my course called The Secrets of API Buttons for QuickBase. And you can get more information on that over on quickbasejunkie.com slash courses. Now check out the video. I'll briefly cover the URL button setup. There are several settings you'll need to be familiar with in order to make the URL formula field into a button. The link text or button label, the option to display as a button, the button color, as well as the target window. Let's start by creating a new field. We'll call this our button field and select the formula URL. We'll right click and go into the field properties and we'll scroll down to the display options. Here we can give our button a label. Let's call it add new record. We'll want to choose to display as a button on forms and reports. And this will give us the option to choose a color. Clicking on the box here will reveal the color options. So let's choose a nice deep purple. We can also select whether or not we want the target to open in a new window. Now what this means is when you click on the link, will it open in a new window or a new tab? In most cases for our APIs, we've set in certain parameters that require that it open in the same window. However, there may be instances that you want to open in a new window. For now, we'll go ahead and leave this blank. In this section, we covered the URL formula button setup choosing the link text or button label, selecting the option to display as a button, choosing our button color, and then determining the target window. Next, we'll put everything we've learned so far together. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.